Rezova is an incredible booking system for escape room owners. It seems to be the go-to choice for any new escape room owner as they're getting started. Uh, over the last year or so, when we start working with new escape rooms, Bookio seems to be falling out of favor. Rezova seems to be the one everyone really gravitates to. Does that mean it's perfect? No. So I thought I'd make a short video here answering some of the common questions I get about a pretty integral part of setting up a booking system and that's the booking page and how to get it onto your website and, and just navigating hey where do I find certain things in this you know my developers asking for an iframe code where, where do I find it so I just want to walk you guys through it point out some some intricacies and uh, hopefully you know I can help you out a little bit because uh, I've seen this confusion quite a bit. So let's hop into a dummy Rezova account here. I've got it booted up and you know, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty smart here. So let's go down to settings, booking site settings. And the default is where usually the confusion starts. So this is a relatively new account. And you can see up here at the top left, we got status active, our booking site is active, which means great, our booking site is active. Um, we can hit view booking site here and that'll open up our booking site. Now the first mistake I see a lot of people make is just go, okay, copy and paste this link, give it to the web developer, or if you're in, you know, WordPress or Wix, uh, just put it into the book now button and you're good. People hop over, they book, seems to be working effectively. The issue is, uh, when you're hopping between domains like this, the tracking falls apart. Your analytics is really going to be incomplete. Even if you turn on the GA analytics integration from Rezova, it's going to be sending from like two domains, which is a big, big issue. Uh, maybe not at first, but once you start spending some money on ads or you really want to get technical and start improving your escape room going, Hey, like we're, you know, we're really rocking it. How do we get better? Uh, you bring in someone like me and we start pulling about the data and we go, Ooh, this is incomplete. Uh, the, the domain hopping causes some issues. Now, there are some solutions. It can work like this, but it's just as technical to get it to work, and it's still not as good as uh, putting the iframe on your actual website. Plus, not to mention putting it on your website. Uh, the branding's better. You know, you get to control it, keep people on the site. It, it's a lot better uh, that way. So don't get fooled. Uh, the view booking site button in the active here, um, yeah, that's, don't get fooled. So in order to get that iframe, let's say you do want that, come down to publish. And you're probably saying, whoa, 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 it's already active, it's already published. Well, this is where some of the confusion starts. So hit publish booking site here. And now we can choose what, what do we wanna publish, which we should read as what do we wanna get the code for to put on our website. So we have our booking site and we have the items and then we got some other items like gift vouchers, customer accounts, waivers, fantastic. I'm just gonna focus on the booking stuff right now. So booking site is, uh, I'll hop over to a website really quick. Okay, here we are. We are in a, uh, like a, just a general booking on an escape room that we work with. You scroll down, look how great it looks branded. It's on the website. But look, at, uh, we have all the rooms back to back um, just in order, it's kind of like a movie theater list, which is, which is cool. Uh, you can filter by room, but no one clicks on it. It's too hidden. It's, people are not in, like investigating your booking system here. So we gotta, we gotta make it a little bit easier. So this is really good. We make a ton of sales through this. I'd say about 50% of the sales come through this on its own, but there's actually another way we can do it where we can just show just the cold war bunkers or just the Zodiac, right? I've hopped over to the specific product page now of Sasha Home for the Future. We scroll down and look, it's integrated, just the options for that. So let's come back here. So booking size, all of them, items is the specific pages. The items are even more important than just making it easy for someone to book. You can sell on those individual pages. You can put some marketing, or if that room's not converting very well, we can put a heat map on it and start checking out like what's going on. It, it, should we test some copy? Uh, are we just not linking to it enough? It's, it's pretty interesting. Like there, there's a lot we can do to improve it. So about 50% of our sales generally will come from the whole booking site. The other 50% will come from individual people researching the rooms and then being able to just quickly check out with the time that works for the room that sold them. Now, click on whichever one you want 
And here you have, how do you want to publish? Well, we're already active. You know, you might think we're published, but no, we're not published until we get the code. So hit HTML integration. And now this is what you can give your developer to put on the website for those frames to show up accordingly. If you need to back up, we can go to select what to publish and then we can choose items. We can go back and forth and that's fine. You'll notice there's a bunch of items here. Link, I kind of talked in the beginning how I, I wouldn't really recommend using the link. Uh, we have WordPress, that's pretty awesome. Squarespace, Wix, Weebly. I would really just go with the HTML integration. It has the most power behind it. It's got the best code um, and it's got the most room to grow on it basically. So I would really, really recommend just utilizing this code. It's, it's the best way to move forward. The other confusion that we get a lot from escape promoters is how to change the layout of these items. So let's go back to general settings and then go back to book sightings or book settings just to make sure that you know we're, we're on the same page here. We are in the booking site settings for your layout right now. And people ask, how do I change my layout? Well, it's hiding in plain sight right here. If we look at this option back to all layouts, you can click it and now we have all four options or the three other ones that aren't currently active. Grid list layout, uh, grid list calendar and filterable calendar. You can click into it and hit activate layout and that will change your booking system now. So that will change the layout of your booking system. I'm gonna go back to filterable list. I like that. Scroll down, hit activate layout. But just keep in mind, when you come back to it, you're already in the layout settings. So you have to go back to the layout, even though you were never there to begin with, it's just a little, little confusing, and then select in and then activate it if that's what you wanna uh, change the layout to. That's the question probably we get the absolute most is, hey, I cannot figure out how to change the layout. Well, it's hiding in plain sight. Uh, you know, it's a little embarrassing on my end too. I completely missed it for you know, first couple of weeks I was working this, I actually had to go through the docs and go, where the heck is it? Hiding in plain sight right there. So there you have it. Those are the most common uh, booking site questions we get from escape room owners navigating Resova for the first time or even three years in, seeing that <laughs> a couple of times. Um, we've been working with Resova quite a bit. So if you have any questions, I I'd love to hear it. Leave a comment, reach out to us. If you're interested in marketing, uh, that's what we do. Uh, we're not booking site specialists. Uh, we've just had to become booking site specialists because uh, we handle everything from the paid media all the way to the revenue hidden in your bank account for escape rooms. And we've really, really uh, nailed, nailed this industry. Uh, we have a financial guarantee in everything. So ask me a question, leave a comment, reach out to us if you're interested in it. Um, I'd love to help. And also I'd love to learn what are your pain points that helps me help other people. So please, uh, feel free to reach out and ask a question. So thank you again.